Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I am so tired, I'm very low energy. I had like a weird stomach thing happen last night. I'll explain it in a little bit, but I'm just getting ready for the day now because the show must go on. I'm actually using a couple new things that I got at Sephora. I got a couple little like travel size things for my trip coming up. So I'm using this little hula bronzer, which I have honestly not used hula bronzer since like high school. Um, this was like a go-to fave back in the day. And honestly, it's looking pretty good. I can see why I used to love it so much and why everyone else loves it. I go so hard on the bronzer. It's a toxic trait of mine. What can I say? Today on the agenda, we're doing just a couple little things. I'm staying home today. I have a little bit of residual like stomach pain going on. Um, and so I'm just going to try to get some things done around the house. Just more stuff like in preparation for me going out of town for Taylor Swift, which I think by the time you see this vlog, I will be... I I will be there tonight like when you're watching this I can't I got this new Natasha Denona little like compact palette which first of all how cute is this and it has like basically all of the eyeshadows that I would ever need just in one tiny little compact palette because I am doing only carry-on for my trip and so I was like let's get something nice and tiny I don't have a mirror to work with so we're just gonna have to figure this out together and yes I am using my fingers to put on eyeshadow whatever I wanted to try this eyeshadow look that I saw on TikTok where basically you just put like a shimmery champagne shade and then you do like a pop of color in the inner corner. And I also recently, I have had this in my favorites list on Sephora for months and I decided to give myself a little treat and it is this Natasha Denona pastel palette. Look at these colors. <gasps> They're so pretty. They're so 80s. Oh, there's what's in my medicine cabinet. <laughs> this is gorgeous. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a little lavender because I'm wearing purple today. I don't know. Let's try this purple. Why not? Just gonna do a little bit on my finger because again, who has time? I saw this girl on TikTok literally just do this. Oh, so cute. Very subtle. Hold on one second. Let me do this and then we'll reconvene. All right, here is what we're left with. I think it's pretty cute, actually. I'm gonna finish doing my hair. I already curled it, but I'm just gonna kind of, you know, zhuzh it up a little bit to make it a little more smooth and all that. Give it some body. My hair is so flat these days. I mean, it usually is, but even more so lately. Um, it was so weird. I literally heard someone's voice right here and they were like, UPS, UPS. And I was like, huh? And I thought they were right outside the window, but they were at the front door delivering a package so we can open <laughs> we can open that together i'm using some of this hello some of this dry texture spray from orbe <coughs> holy moly it just adds like a lot more volume do you see the difference well because i just did that but it just adds like a little bit more body a little bit more texture we'll add it to this side too so there we go all right ready for the day was that a get ready with me Slightly, I guess you could say. Let's open this package. I ordered it yesterday and it already delivered, so that's pretty iconic. Let me move in here so maybe you can see the eyeshadow a little bit better. Is it better in this lighting? I can't tell. Looks pretty cute though. All right, here we go. I don't order from Lisa Says God too often because I'm gonna be fully honest, I think they're insanely overpriced, but they have really cute stuff and I wanted to treat myself for something for this trip. And this is a splurge, I've been thinking about it for a while. I got myself two things. The first one is this pair of pajamas because I wanna have cuter pajamas other than just like a big t-shirt because I'm just not feeling that cute lately. And so I saw this pair, which how adorable are these little high-waisted lettuce hem, kind of like ribbed heather gray shorts. And then we have the matching tank top to go with it. And the tank top has like a cute little pink bow. Thank God these straps are adjustable because like what? This would hang below my nipples. They were on sale, which for them is like very, very expensive, but oh, it's okay. I can't even see you. Drew comes in and he goes, sorry. Oh, I like your eyeshadow. Thank is you. Is that what it is, eyeshadow? Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it in little corners. Oh, thanks. I saw it on TikTok. Cute. Thank you can wear like that. Yeah. All right, so they promised that this sweater was soft and not itchy. I don't know if I would say super soft, but we'll see. Okay. If I don't like this, it's going back because it was expensive. But here she is. <gasps> I feel like this is gonna be so cute. 
this actually seems really big. I'm a little nervous. I was picturing this with like a black maxi skirt and then maybe like a cute little something like this, like a pop of color in the eyeshadow. I don't know, let's try it on. Okay, I'm genuinely devastated because look at how cute this is. This sweater is so adorable. Like obviously you could button it all the way, you could wear it more loose. It is like pretty oversized on me, but like look at the sleeves. My hand is right here in the pink. Do you see that? This is how long it is. Like it's not even a matter of like I could roll the sleeves up. And the other thing is it's so itchy. Like I'm really, really sad. It's going back immediately. Props to them for like the super fast shipping. Oh. There goes the trash truck. Layla's out on the patio right now. Props to them for like super fast shipping. That was really impressive and amazing, but here's the sweater from another perspective. Drew's like, let me put it on. And what is it? <laughs> it's so big. Who has arms that long? We both have really long arms. I mean, it looks really cute on you. I mean, I think it's supposed to be like, maybe if you like roll the sleeves in, it'd be like oversized. Maybe. Yeah, but I no. don't mind. It is. It is itchy, like yeah. it's not like 100%. But I'm more sensitive to that than you. Yeah, I don't mind it. Cute fit though. Yeah, <laughs> work it. <laughs> and somebody was just barking to come back inside. Are you over it? Okay, let's go. While I had the package out, I thought I would show you what the pajamas look like. These are really cute. The top is too big for me and I have the strap tied to like the tightest. You can see it's literally like all the way at the top, but I'm just gonna sleep in it and it's really cute. Anyway, still love them. We'll still shop them, but the sweater's going back. Oh, and I have another fun package I wanna open. This is one that I've been looking forward to. All right, so we have a massive box here from Brooklinen. They are kindly sponsoring this vlog. Thank you so much to them. If you didn't know, I have been working with Brooklinen forever i am a loyal stan at this point look at the size of this box i'm so excited if you didn't know brooklinen is a luxury sheets company providing very high quality products to really elevate your home and your space and it's important for me to not only invest in sheets that are going to last a long time but that also get softer with each wash which mine just have truly only gotten better with time i'm obsessed with them and since we all spend you know a third of our life laying in our bed why not have sheets that are like the most comfortable you know hotel quality sheets and today i am trying something new that i haven't tried before and it is their down alternative comforter and i have been so excited about this because we've had sort of like the same old comforter for a while and it's just time to be replaced ah. oh goodness look at her oh so this down alternative is great for people who are vegan, people who are on a budget, people who have allergies. I just prefer the feel of this much better. And what really drew me to it was that it has these like little loops that hook onto your duvet cover, which is iconic. You can choose from lightweight, all season or ultra warm. I went with the lightweight option because I live in a warmer climate and also Drew and I are just very hot sleepers. And this honestly feels like a cloud. Another reason why I love Brooklyn and so much is because you can shop from the comfort of your own home whether you're picking out a sheets bundle and you can mix and match from like 20 different colors there are so many options or whether you're buying a new comforter or pillows or whatever it's just so quick and easy and simple and right now Brooklinen is having their sleep week sale so this goes until March 20th and all of the items on their website are 20% off so make sure you click the link in the description box below the discount will already be applied at checkout get yourself a new comforter some pillows some sheets couldn't recommend them enough I love them that's all we have in our house at this point I can fully Fully tell you after sleeping on their sheets for over a year now it's the softest sheets I have ever slept on they're so so good so I'm gonna go pop this on our bed we're gonna get extra nice and cozy I can't wait and let's continue with the rest of our day um excuse me sir we have to change the sheets now I know this is your bed and you control it but we need to change these sheets okay no well we're gonna do it anyways okay Okay, now we're gonna take a moment to just sit and relax for a second. And I was, you know, gonna tell you about what happened last night in maybe hopes that like some of you have gone through the same thing and you can tell me what happened to you or maybe you can relate. But basically last night we ate dinner at around, I don't know, six or so. And then by like maybe seven o'clock, I had like called my dad, talked to him, 
and then I was on the phone with my mom and I was telling my mom on the phone I was like I feel like I have heartburn coming on and I don't really get heartburn that often but it probably happens like once a year I would say and it's just totally random but this time I felt it more in my stomach and it was like my stomach was had heartburn does that make sense? And so I was like talking to her. I was like, oh, I should probably take some like Tums or Pepto. And then it just started getting worse. And over the next like two hours, it or two and a half hours, it became like unbearable. And I have no idea. It was coming in waves. It was almost like I was in labor. Like it was coming in waves and it would just be the most intense stomach burning you've ever felt in your life. Like it just burned it burned so bad and then it like made me feel like i had to go to the bathroom but not the kind where you get like cramps down there not like that it was literally like in my stomach like it was just burning and it was burning from like my stomach all the way up to here and it was so bizarre and so i was like explaining it to drew and he was like that doesn't sound like heartburn he was like are you burping like you know dragon burps and i was like no not it wasn't up here at all it was literally just in my stomach and it just got worse and worse and worse and like i would be sitting there on the couch like talking to drew and i'd have to stop talking and just be like like it literally i was like i don't know what to do i don't know what to do it hurt so bad it was like one of the most painful and uncomfortable things i've ever been through and then probably by like i want to say like 9 30 ish it started like every time sort of one of those waves would come it would be like a little less severe and then it was kind of like longer periods of time in between that and I was just like, what was that? Because that was not heartburn. Like, that was crazy. It wasn't like, you know, I wasn't going to the bathroom. I wasn't throwing up. Nothing like that. It was so freaking weird. And I've tried to, like, look it up. And there's a bunch of different things, obviously. Like, I, you know, if it continues or if it happens again, I will go to the doctor. But it was so um uncomfortable and painful and also just really scary because i was just like what is going on with my body like i've never felt like this before and i was like do i need to go to the er and then by the time i went to bed at like 10 30 ish i would say like i was mostly able to just like lay down and get comfortable and go to sleep but even like this morning i woke up and I, my stomach still wasn't right and i did sort of have like a wave of nausea and i also felt a little like kind of like my body had chills a little bit and I don't know maybe I was just like in shock from what was happening but it was very bizarre and I honestly like have no idea what it was the only thing I can think of because it wasn't like an IBS flare-up or anything but the only thing I can think of is that I tried a new food yesterday and it was those like daring vegan chicken bites and I don't know if it's like something in that like all the soy protein or whatever but I didn't really have that much of it at all so I don't know maybe that was it but everything else I ate yesterday Drew ha also had the only thing we had different was or the only thing that I had that was out of the ordinary was that and like maybe but that was a really intense reaction so I don't know if anyone else has experienced anything like this I'm not asking you to medically diagnose me of course but if you've gone through this let me know your experience at first I was nervous that it was like something with my gallbladder like maybe a gallstone but I feel like it wouldn't have just come out of nowhere like that and then just like gone away I feel like it would like keep coming back but i don't know so anyways that's the tea with that very bizarre very strange so i'm just kind of like low energy today i'm doing my best to just give myself moments to rest i might actually take a break and do a little bit of reading i am behind on some work so i probably do need to get started on that as well so i'm going to take a quick little break and then we are going to continue and try to get as much done today as we can but also just try to like take these moments and, and rest something i am admittedly not very good at but i'm trying I'm currently reading a book called The Perfect Marriage. I had seen people talk about it on TikTok and Instagram, and it's kind of like more of a thriller. Well, I don't know. I'm only 68% into it. I have enjoyed it so far. I'm trying to put it together. It's sort of like a mystery. You're like, hmm, who done it type of thing. And I'm suspicious of everyone. And I watch a lot of those types of shows and I was like, oh, why didn't I think to read books like that? And I think sometimes the sort of opinion that people may have where if a book isn't like super intellectual or stimulating or whatever, then it's like trash. And I disagree. I think everyone has space for their own opinions, but like some people hate Colleen Hoover books. I mean, I understand, but I also think there's like a purpose for everything. So like when I'm in the mood to just dissociate and read something like fast and easy and quick and like, 
a little smutty and like a little spicy then I read her books and just all that to say read whatever books you want don't let people tell you that like the books you read are bad or whatever I mean if it's like bad people writing it that's another thing but anyways I think I'm like starting to figure out who it is but then they say that there's a twist near the end of this book so I'm gonna read this a little bit longer and then it's lunchtime and honestly I'm not gonna lie I'm like a little scared to make lunch I'm just scared of like eating anything <laughs> Um, because I'm just afraid that like it's gonna make me feel bad but I had breakfast this morning and I've been fine I had liquid IV so I should be good but in the meantime I am so cozy right now and I'm not moving for the next little bit I was just taking a Ritz cracker break because I'm addicted and Drew bought me a nice little gift for our trip and just for life in general and it's a switch it's a pink switch yeah so cute so i definitely want to play the disney dreamlight valley game i think it's called but if you have any games on the switch that you recommend definitely let me know in the comments below if you know if you've been watching me you know i will be playing the 1990s versions of donkey kong of course but yeah if you have any good games to recommend let me know because i'm a switch girly now it cozy, took me like, four cozy years. Games, cozy games. Yeah, I like very cozy things. I mean, not that Donkey Kong is cozy, but anyways, okay. We're gonna take Layla outside, but I'm so excited. This is what's for lunch today. Real simple, real comforting, real nostalgic. Butter noodles are honestly just a childhood classic staple and it's what sounds good. So that's what we're gonna go with. A little while later it's like i don't know almost 2 p.m or something and i actually got another package the mail comes here a few times a day and i thought i would show you because i am literally a 35 year old woman still trying to figure out what bras to wear and what bras look good on me what my bra size is i have actually had on my list for a while um going to a professional place and having them fit me for a bra and then like ordering bras my friend sierra actually also recently filmed a video like that on her main channel so i would highly encourage you to check that out and it really like it sparked the idea again where i was like i've been meaning to do that for a while and i really need to but anyways i tried my best to measure myself um and i saw a girl on instagram recommend this bra you can help measure, <laughs> you can help measure. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. Okay. But she recommended this bra called Bra Lilluia. <laughs> and it's by Spanx and it's like a full coverage kind of like t-shirt bra and these cups look so big to me so I don't know if I ordered the right size but I am gonna try it out um and I'm just gonna put on like a t-shirt and sort of show you the difference and what it looks like because I'm really curious I'm gonna go for like you know a t-shirt that actually is a little bit tight so I'll show you what I have on right now it's just like a bralette but that's what I wear most days to be honest and like I feel like a lot of us just don't actually know what we're doing when it comes to bras and if you can get away with not wearing one god love you more power to you i didn't wear bras for a long time until i started gaining weight and now i'm just sort of like trying to figure it out so okay pretend because this one's kind of a high neck one but here is what it looks like when i wear a t-shirt just normally kind of flat kind of saggy nothing wrong with that where all my saggy girls at <laughs> But I feel like um, we're going to see what the difference is. So let me put on this one. One second. Okay, so I think I actually do need to go down. Oh, although, do I? I'm also really insecure about like this part of my body. So please bear with me. But this is what it looks like. I'm going to try it on with the t-shirt. But I do feel like there is like a slight gap up here. So I may need to go down a cup size. But like stay the same band. But then I think that changes. The band size I think is okay. It's like hiked up really, really high. There's not any kind of like adjustable straps on this bra and I haven't worn something with an underwire in so long so it's very noticeable to me look at the difference between like wearing a normal bra and not you'll have to let me know what you think I do think it's like possibly the right size maybe I'll hang on to it and just sort of see the only thing is like this isn't like digging into me by any means I just noticed that it's there and it's weird because I'm not used to it because I haven't worn underwire bras in like a really long time this bra like isn't super cheap um it's kind of expensive actually but I wanted to have like one actual nice bra strapless bras are like a whole other thing that's like another topic for another day but I actually think it might be okay. The wire goes like all the way here. 
um, so I don't have that sort of like spillage towards the back that I usually do. So I actually think this is kind of nice. It's actually a pretty comfortable bra. Um, so I'll link it down below in case you want to check it out. But yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I don't really know how I'm doing. But if you're also like me and you're in your 30s and you're like, what the hell do I wear as a bra? Like, I'm just trying to figure it out with you. So maybe I'll do like a main channel video on that. But I actually think I'm pretty pleased with this. But I am going to put my bralette back on because I'm going to get back in bed and <laughs> play some Disney Dreamlight Valley or something. Play my new Switch for sure. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm just going to take the rest of the day to relax rest i'm feeling much better honestly after eating lunch i think that helped a lot i'm gonna take a, maybe a little nap or something so hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog it's starting to get loud in the neighborhood so i'm gonna go thanks again to brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this vlog don't forget to check out their sleep week sale that's going on until march 20th you can get 20 percent off all brooklyn and items all of it will be linked in the description box below thanks so much for hanging out with me today and i will see you very soon in the next vlog bye